What is up, YouTube? It's Egar Goma for Life here. You know, back at the True Grinder channel. You know, uh, we're gonna be doing another Black Clover Phantom Knights video today. Uh, in this video, it's gonna be pretty cool. We're gonna be doing another defend mission. We're going to be taking on Rail, the yes, the artist, painter, wizard, royal. So, Rail, let's read up what the conquest tells us. It says that um, Rail's uh, attack ability and the Red Rats A A A Arcane Art prioritize those with low max HP first. So bring someone to draw their attacks. Slip is effective against form skills invincibility. So just so you guys don't know, um don't get blindsided actually by some of the stuff he does in the later rounds, like I think expert and up. Rail has a cycle of attacks, and the way it works is when you get to the final, um the final um one, which is Wizard King level, he's gonna do these three attacks, right? Over and over, like three, four, like yeah, three attacks. And it automatically by the time he does them, he triggers his um arcing arc, which is gonna activate um paralysis on all of your people based on the information or oh, i think it probably just reaches everybody and it's going to paralyze them and then uh by the time they even become unparalyzed um he's going to basically have it again because he does do a cycle of moves so it's like every single like it's just a cycle some characters break out of the paralysis quickly it might miss on some you could put items to you know prevent it but um that's what you don't want to get locked into a dead stalemate where he's doing that game cycle because then you'll die because he's going to go after your weakest hp person for person first and then so forth. So, to defeat Rail, uh, things I recommend is just like with Heath, since there are a lot of other units with him and you don't want to be taking the extra damage. Um, and uh, annoying thing about him is that um, where Heath was sealing, uh, Rail is going to be reducing. The rats have these skills that can reduce the um, arcing art of the person that they're targeting. So you want to make sure that, you know, you, prob you have somebody... In the front that really you know you know matters if you get their arcane art or not so we're gonna be doing all the stages from beginner to wizard king and we're gonna be using just the team um that we used last time in the two videos just to show you guys you can run either an op team like this or you can run a little you know different you know, you know little units if you're gonna do the survival mode type way um so to get us started i think it's very important if we start to note off that um what's important about this and we want to make sure we get this right is that um this is the crit team you know for the attack boost and speed boost uh leo for the um crit boost charmy who can lower their uh, defense lower their attack she's just magnificent on attack herself um black asta to get rid of any invincibility buffs that they might try to give themselves because um you know black asta is really good for this but we're using black asta and yami um and it's right there because he has demonic strike which has a medium chance to to pill for buffs meaning if he hits an enemy with that um you know if he hits an enemy with that and they have a buff on he can take it from them because another thing about real is they have the formation aqua deer when they switch which gives them invincibility so you know you want to make sure you kind of take out all of them before that happens um we're going to be using these two formations because you just want to get in there and kill 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 so for the first three stages it's pretty simple it's relatively easy you really won't have any difficulty with it um you can just leave it on times two and watch them go to work Done. Uh, um, next up is going to be the intermediate level. Same thing. You really don't really need to prioritize doing much. Um, I don't know why my Mars has that. I'm going to switch my Mars. I think my Mars should actually have... My Mars should, uh, you know, should have the funeral mirror. I didn't even notice that, but it's cool. I wanted to give you know that toughen thing, hoping he'll use his toughen ability a lot more, but he, he he's not. <laughs> and his toughen ability are supposed to be triggered more. <laughs> so again, this this is really simple, really easy. Um, next up is the expert level. And the reason I bring I put Mars in front is because uh, with 
Yes. The reason I put Mars in front, I don't even know why Mars has that. Is because with Mars, oh yeah, I had an attack unit here, but now I don't. Um, it's because Mars is going to be getting his AA reduced, and we don't really care for Mars AA. Leviathan, it's nothing really fancy about it, even with formation match. He, he's just really a good defensive unit. So we're just going to put Mars there for the defense. Um, so we can stack up just in case we do need to take attacks. Okay. See? And it's done. Now that was the five stamina one. Now it's time to to go to the Grand Knight level, which is going to cost us seven AP. And this one is where you know most people cap off at before you really get like a good solid team, like um, about three, you know, good six stars. Um, and it's all you do. Um, for this one, I recommend if you have Crimson Line 2 or if you have the Sky Blue Star, which you can get from Sister Liddy to increase your, um, your AOM and blue gem drop rates, you use it on the first stage because you want to get as much of the AOM gauge off as possible. So when you come in here, you can just pop off all your specials. Use your AOEs first. AOEs is so important in this game when it comes to... Um, some of these defend cap most of these defend castles. So, see how Oz he had invincibility. Asta takes it off with his pilfering buff ability on his strike. So, <laughs> super easy. Like the Oz, the the so far the two black Asas in the game are really really good. Okay, here we get to Wizard King. This is where it gets interesting. Um, and again, the tactic is very simple. You just want to build up as much. You want to try to get all of your AAs, especially your AOEs, AAs, as soon as possible. So when you start the game, uh, you're going to switch your formation, right, to Crimson Lion 2 or Sky Blue Star. And you're going to let it just rack up. You're going to switch back. And you want, you want to try to get that buff as much as you can before it's over. You know, use this buff. So now we want to just stay here, right? Hopefully they finish this. Boom, right now we're going to switch back, get our crit off, and then we're going to just finish everything. So, I can switch back, get the crit off, and then now we have attack boost, speed boost, crit boost. Everything else is just plain and simple. Just kill everything else. And then this is the end of it. Good thing we use you know, because that mouse in the back, good. You, you want to make sure if you have anybody that does like a 1v1 strike, you, you save it for the boss. Because the 1v1 specials tend to be a, like, you know, like particularly strong. Like, look at that. So you want to make sure like if you are using a character that has like a 1v1, you try to take out all the other units by using your, your, AO, your AOEs first and then any weaker ones. And then you'll be good to go. And that's how you pretty much do rail. Um, the next way you can do rail is um, using, again, a, if you don't have a pure powerhouse pushing team you can come inside and you can use this team which i have um and again you could feed it switch around the units i mean if you have figurion he's way better than mars um and this is the team we're going to be using and i'm just going to show you guys real quick now this team doesn't have a aom boost or a um blue gem drop rate boost um again and you could always use um figurion salamander um, because, you know, as a leader, because he'll do that for you. And then we're just going to go ahead. So you can see, so we're going to switch, right? And we're trying to, and the, the goal is to, you know, try to get off as much stalling and as much of the AOE as we can get. Boom. Okay. And I think we did enough. Now when we come in the room, our crit buff is up. That should have. Boom. Merleona is pretty much the goat for this. Insane damage.
Okay, we should have waited till we have a usually again you want to use her when you have an AOM on standby just so those blue gem drop rates is just automatic because when you use your AOM you get a bunch of them. So her special plus an AOM on backup right away. It does insane stuff. That invincibility is up, so we gotta wait till it's gone. Oh, we got attack and a crit buff. So here he goes. As you can see, he's starting to use his uh, skills and his his. You can see his AA gauge is actually going up pretty high, and it's going up like pretty fast. Like he only did like two three moves and it's, and it was growing that fast. Um, and then this is it. Again, if I have Sky Blue Star, so I could have used it with this team to give the to get my AAs faster, but it's no harm and. If you don't have it, really, as you can see, a good a good tank and some people that just help you get your AOM faster. Mara Yelena, she helps other people get their AAs faster and so forth. And you just want to blow by. Just because you beat the rats don't mean that you beat rails. So, guys, please be careful when you're making your teams. But, again, if you need help, uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And you can always uh, comment down below, hey, I need help with a certain team. Well, I don't have these characters. And I could always help you guys make... Uh, you know, a team that's good enough to beat it for sure. And I can help you guys go over accessories and things, informations that help a lot when it comes to these things. But I'm signing off and I'll be doing the radies next. Make sure you guys check out the Heath the video and I'll see you guys in the next video.